Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS X Snow Leopard on Windows 7. This is a pretty cool thing to do, I've done it on my own computer. There are some problems with it, it doesn't show in widescreen and you can't get sound, but it is still pretty cool to do and you get most of the Mac software on it. Now the first thing to do if you want to do this, you have to download VirtualBox. And to do this you're going to open up your web browser. Then once you've done that, you're going to open up Google. Then once Google's loaded, you're going to search for VirtualBox. And then go over to the download section. And you can download Windows for Windows just here. Okay. Now once you've got VirtualBox, you're going to need to get a uTorrent to download the torrent file for the image file of Mac OS X. So if you just search for uTorrent and then you can get uTorrent Windows here and there uTorrent stable build and you can download it there. Now once you've got uTorrent you're going to need the image file and I found that the best place to get it is from a website called isohunt.com so if you head over to isohunt.com and all of these links are going to be in the description by the way so if you don't want to type these in you can just click on them down there you're going to search for Snow Leopard and go search and then click on the S here and that will sort it by seeds and then the first one here if you click on that you can download the .torrent file and then you just need to wait for that to download it will take quite a while to download it's a large file it's about 4 gig big once you've got it it really is worth it so once you've got that, you're going to open up uTorrent. I mean, you're going to open up VirtualBox once you've downloaded it from uTorrent. And once VirtualBox has opened, you're going to create a new virtual, uh, new virtual machine. You're going to click next, and then to name it, um, I'll just call it Mac. And you need to make sure that it's on Mac OS X and on Mac OS X server. Then you're going to go next and give it the most memory you can before it turns orange or red. So about there. And then you're going to go create new hard disk. Uh, VDI. Dynamically allocated. And then you can create it as big as you want. I'm going to leave it at 20 gig. And I'm going to locate it at... Actually I'll just leave it here. Then go next, create. And this should create the drive pretty quickly for you. Okay, now the virtual machine has been created, you need to go into the settings on it. And first of all, you're going to go to general and make sure that it's named whatever you want and this is where it's going to be saved and you can add a description if you want but the main settings are going to change are in system so to start off with you're going to make sure that this is on P2X3 you're going to disable enable EFI and you're going to then go to processor and give it the most amount of CPUs you can and leave this on the highest and then you're going to uncheck this and then you're going to leave this how it is on acceleration. Well, on display, give it the most video memory you can. And then you want to check enable 3D acceleration. Then under storage, you're going to go under empty, under IDE controller, and then click on the CD button here and go choose a virtual CD DVD disk file. Now you're going to choose the uh, snow leopard image that you've downloaded and click open now once this is open you can click OK and then start your Mac so if you press start here now I'll press right control on F to make it a full screen now I'll press F8 and now I'll press space and then hyphen V space bus ratio equals 20 space CPUs equals 1. Now you can hit enter and it will boot 
hopefully successfully. Right now I'm going to say use English for the main language. And this whole installation process probably will take a while, but just be patient and it's worth it. I'm going to press continue. Agree. And now, as you see, it says that there's nowhere to install Mac OS X, so you're going to have to go Utilities, uh, Disk Utility. Now click on your virtual hard disk that you've created, and then go Partition. No array, sorry. Then give it a name, so I'll just call it Mac. Then press Erase and Erase. Now this will partition the drive and it will configure it to work with Mac OS X. Now you've done this, you can safely close out of this. And now you can see Mac. So you can click that and press Continue. Now, before you press Install, you're going to want to press Customize. If you press install before you press customize, you're not gonna it's not going to work at all because you have to select really specific things. So you're going to select the latest version of Mac OS X, so in this case 10.6.2. Then under bootloaders, you're going to select Chameleon 10.5. Then under kernels, you're going to select the legacy kernel. Then under graphic drivers, you want to select the graphic enabler. And then under it you're going to select well, uh, you can select Rosetta or QuickTime if you want for additional programs, but that's all we need to do. So I'm going to press Done and Install. Now I'm going to press Skip for checking installation CD. And this is going to take a while to install, so I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. So uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, now it's just successfully installed, and now I've got this message saying that it's been installed and it needs to restart. So we're just going to go ahead and press restart. Okay, this might just take a minute to set up, and what we're going to have to do now is press the right control button, then R to reset. And then while it's restarting, if you go devices, CD, DVD devices, and go remove disk from virtual drive, and then press right control and R again, and then reset. Okay, and now if you just wait, there's bar to go across, we should have the Mac operating system start to boot up. Okay, and right now we've got the Apple logo pop up, so this is a good sign. It's going to take a few minutes to load, but then we should get some more install options. Okay, the page is just loaded, and now we're ready to in finish off the install. So now I'm going to select United Kingdom and continue or obviously US if you're there or Canada or wherever you can go show all and find all countries but I'm in the United Kingdom so continue and I'm going to leave it on US and I'm going to say do not transfer my information now and on this just click continue 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 and if you just enter your name and you can create a password hint if you want of whatever you like but uh, once you've created your account just hit continue and this shouldn't take too long to create so it's connecting to Apple and there. So um, select your time zone. 
then hit continue and we're done so you can press done and hopefully you should have your Apple computer boot up and uh, quite often you're probably going to run, run into some problems so if you do you can just press right control and R and it will reset your computer but as you can see we've got Mac up and running so with the keyboard just press continue it normally asks you to do this and it says press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard so if you just press it, that's it and done and there now you can use your Mac just however you like so load up Safari and you can go onto YouTube you know you can do whatever you want if you um if you want you can set up time machine set up iTunes see whatever you want it works near enough like a normal Mac so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope this helps if this doesn't work and I'm sure there'll be a few people who it won't work for just leave a comment down below and I'll try and help if it works please like the video and check out my website which will be linked in the description thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video